honored to have with us today the next speaker, the State Secretary of, to the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Annika Söder. Welcome her with a big hand. Okay. Thank you. Dear friends, um, the moderator just said that we have not had a woman prime minister in Sweden. What we do have is a man who is a prime minister and also a feminist. And we have a feminist government and we have a feminist foreign policy. And I'm really proud to be here uh, to uh, meet uh, so many wiki medians uh, that have come here and we're proud uh, to have had the opportunity also to welcome some of you to the foreign ministry yesterday. Uh, and I'm also very happy to have been asked to speak not only about wiki gaps and gender equality, but also about the 2030 agenda, the sustainable uh, development goals. And this is, of course, of key importance, as we all know, because we live in this area of fake news uh, and where factfulness, as Hans Rusling uh, put it, will have to be in the, in the forefront. Uh, the um, Agenda 2030 was decided in 2015 when the turmoil in the world was not as difficult as it is today. Uh, and the agenda is an opportunity for all of you to hold us, the political leaders, accountable to what we committed to do with all the goals uh, before 2031. Uh, we strive to be at the forefront as much as we can, uh, as was said on gender equality, but also when it comes to climate action. Uh, and we are, we are sure that we can form part of the leadership that would take us towards sustainable societies. But we cannot do it alone. Leadership is certainly needed and at all levels. And we need to be brave because this has become an uphill battle. Uh, and uh, if civil society uh, and free media will not be allowed not only to exist, but also to uh, make progress and spread. I think we are all uh, in a very, very difficult uh, situation. Uh, so I would like to say a few words about, first about goal 16, about peaceful societies, about freedom of speech and access to information. As I said, important Democratic principles are being undermined and challenged. Uh, the space for civil society is certainly shrinking by the day. Uh, independent media are meeting opposition and they are very often harassed. Authoritarian and regressive tendencies and leaders are on the rise. It's happening on every continent and in large and populous countries, meaning that large numbers of people are affected by the trend. And more people today live in countries that cannot be called democracies than people living in democracies. And of course, democracy is much more than holding free and fair elections. It's about the freedom to think, speak. It's about the freedom to love. Democracy means the right to influence, to vote and to demand accountability. Democracy and gender equality are closely linked, of course. Like democracy, gender equality is also being challenged. Uh, but it's true that giving all people, men and women, equal opportunities is actually at the center of true democratic thinking. And it's at the center also if we are to achieve the goals. And if we are to come over uh, and deal with goal 10, a goal that is very close to my heart, namely inequalities and to create equal societies with equal opportunities. Um, the freedom of expression and the right to access to information are preconditions 
not only for civil and political rights, but also for economic uh, development and social development and closely linked to the Agenda 2030, to the goals. Uh, and goal 16, peace, justice and strong institutions um, are at the center of this goal. Access to information, which is one of the targets of goal 16, is essential for democracy, for the social contract, to fight corruption. Actually, Sweden had a, a, ru a rule and a law on access to information already in 1766, long before a full-fledged democracy was the case uh, in Sweden, and so we have fairly low levels of corruption. To fulfill its role as a cornerstone of democracy, the media must be able to operate in an environment free from fear. Journalists, media workers, bloggers, artists, authors, writers must be allowed to discuss and debate everything freely and safely. Journalists and media workers must be able to scrutinize and investigate those in power and express informed opinion without the fear of persecution. We also know that female media workers face double vulnerability and are frequently victims of intimidation, threats and violence and even death. We cannot accept impunity for these crimes, which, in addition to being tragic in themselves, also threaten to weaken our society by curbing uh, freedom of expression and information. The state has a role when it comes to guaranteeing and promoting these rights, not to hamper or diminish them. I also believe that it is you, people who work, on this on a daily basis uh, and that come to conferences like the one we have here today uh, that can promote the best ideas to make the situation better. Active civil society participation at all decision-making levels is of course a key uh, element in this because these ideas and opinions need to meet and flourish, and that is vital for making progress in society. To strengthen an open and democratic media landscape and ensure respect for freedom of expression and journalists' safety and security, this is also a clear part of Sweden's work for democracy in the world, which is, act which is actually now one of three priorities in our uh, foreign policy uh, statement. It's also an agenda for the future. People want to have the chance to influence their own lives and their societies. It's obvious. It's the foundation of democracy that everyone should have that same right. Often we see young people being brave and demand equality, justice and freedom. That is why it's so important that we work with and for young people. There, the goal number four on quality education uh, comes in, and it's of key importance to hold governments accountable uh, to provide uh, equal opportunities when it comes to education for both boys and girls. So I'm convinced that free knowledge is the most important way to hold governments accountable and make them see to it that we achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. So, on gender equality and goal number five. Um, as you may know, Sweden was the first country uh, to pursue a feminist foreign policy. For us, this is about the three R's. Rights, representation and resources. We do this because it's our conviction that gender equality is right and also because it's a basic con condition for peace, no women, no peace, for security and for democracy. It's essential for Agenda 2030 again. How can a country prosper if half of its population is left behind? Without 
achieving goal five, none of the other 16 goals will be achieved. A new state of affairs that is also very negative when it comes to gender equality needs uh, a clear and strong response. Extra efforts are needed to ensure that everybody is seen and heard. They say that we should give women voice. Women have voice. It's only a matter of listening to those voices. This is true both in the real world and in the digital world. That is why we launched Wikigap. I had the opportunity to be at the launch at the United Nations in New York where hundreds of volunteers worked on their articles for Wikipedia and the other uh, wikis and that was really an amazing experience. I know that many of you uh, have been involved in the Wikigaps events that have been organized in cooperation with our embassies around the world and with local partners in almost 60 countries. It has contributed to more than 32,000 new or edited articles about women in more than 30 languages worldwide. And as we speak, these articles have chalked up over 100 million page views and we're still counting since the launch of the initiative in 2018. That's <laughs> Thank you. 100 million uh, page views. That's not bad. And 100 million times uh, and the achievements uh, with this have been made clearly visible through all those views and I hope that this has inspired many girls and boys throughout the world. It would never have been possible without all of the voluntary participants. Let me also stress that the government does not write articles. This is about freedom of expression. We're only the facilitator, the platform, and hopefully we give some inspiration to all those that have worked on Wikigaps. And I can assure you that we will continue with Wikigap next year in 2020. Uh, and I hope that here at this conference uh, in Wikimania, it will be possible to discuss how this can be taken forward to more than 60 countries and uh, in many, many uh, locations around the globe. Let me also say that I guess that there are other gaps that we need to fill. And I uh, challenge everyone, including other governments, to identify gaps and inspire voluntary writers to continue to make uh, this enormous encyclopedia of the world uh, the best source to go to. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So we would like to um, hand over this. It's a donation made in your name uh, from Wikimedia Sweden as a thank you. And it's a donation to the UNDP program. Excellent. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank, thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. Big hand. Thank you.